what is up guys and welcome back to the channel now in this video i want to show you guys that you can still build a pretty decent budget pc for a very affordable price we are talking about used parts as well as new parts obviously the gpu is used because it's old but the power supply is new cpu is new tray version motherboard's new ssd is new and even the case is new the aio is used and the fans will also be new a lot of these parts are new we are building this pc to play warzone this is the ssd i will be installing and this is basically going to be for the games that i want to play majority of the time we have another 500 gigabyte budget hdd this will only set you back about 15 dollars used and something like this you can get it for about 50 to 60 dollars we're talking about australian dollars here so let's get building i'm not going to bother talking through every single process but i will speak on a few things that i believe are very important when installing your cpu always take note of where your triangle is it's always in the bottom left hand corner if you're reading your logo upright there's a triangle there, match that and let gravity do its job. Simply close it, your SSD side. Okay, install this on an angle, press down. Perfect. Now for the RAM. HyperX DDR4, 16 gigabyte, eight gigabyte times two, 3200 megahertz RAM. Match the notches. Here I've already installed the speaker. Let's put that aside and now let's pull out the case. This is the Tesserax Apex 8 Air. It is an ATX case because we have an ATX motherboard. Be sure that you match the size motherboard you have with the appropriate case. Okay, let's just remove everything. We will strip this so that we are just dealing with the case. This comes off like so. You just lift it up and that comes off. We'll pull on this and that just comes off like that. Because this has such a deep dish here, your fans can be installed here. Here's the screws for your motherboard as well as your SSDs and hard drives. Now, first things first, let's ensure there are enough stands for your ATX. ATX are all the A's. So you look at your stand points and they'll say A and the letter on it, meaning that you can use that hole. These are just spare parts that I have after building a few PCs. With the uh, better packages, you get like this little and what this does is it sits over your stand and it helps you screw it on. Check them all, make sure they're all tight. We can now install our motherboard. IO panel. Put it in, line it up, press down. I'm going to remove these now because I hate removing them later and they scratch the motherboard. So I'm gonna remove two of them. Usually the top two, I remove three just to be safe line up your screws make sure they all line up we install our screws okay. all right all nine screws installed next we'll put in our cables where they need to go first let's just split that up so they can go to their allocated position you know our USB is here power cables are going to be here off for our hard drive okay we'll put our SSD there that's the way it's gonna go in so your screws can mount it you also have these spots here for SSD so it would go something like this or on the other side whichever way you choose one two or you can install it there so plenty of places I want my cables coming out this way so I'm going to install it like so so it looks like that. Let's uh, put this back in. You have two screws on the bottom here that which hold the hard drive modular in. 
undo these two screws and this will slide up like so. So from this you can see that you can install a hard drive inside and also a hard drive on top. You have these lifting points so if you look at this closely you can see how this protrudes a bit. That keeps the hard drive off the complete flat surface so that it can breathe and the heat can dissipate. In this case we're only installing an SSD so I will be using these two points only. 2.5 inch. I'll only be installing it like so. You want the cables facing out towards you so that when you install the SATA cables it's easy to get to. Line it up, push down. Put back in your two screws which hold it in place. Let me show you after I put them in. Let's turn this around. Let's plug in all our cables and we'll just plug that in there. USB 3.0 at the bottom here. There is a tab on the top of it. We'll put in our audio cable. We've just plugged in everything where it needs to go. Now we have to plug in our power LED, HDD, all that stuff. As you can see, everything's all plugged in now. Next, we're going to install our AIO. This is a used AIO. There's still water in it. It still cools very well. So I'm going to be installing it like so. Because it's only a 120, I'm going to install it here on the back. And that's how it's going to sit. First, we'll uh, bolt this down. And how this goes on is you install the bracket inside first. And then you simply have these two, a screw and a clamp. And now this will clip over the top of your standard mount right here, over these two points. Just a nice dollop in the center will do the job. And then maybe a couple on the side so it covers the whole thing. Sometimes this is a pain to put on, but just have some patience. We want the Corsair symbol right way up. You go over the top of one, press it down, hold it in place. Do the same with the other side. Screw one side down, be sure the other one is also over the top and then simply just screw down and that's it. Not too tight, just till it's snug guys. Just hand tight, that's good enough. Now I will hide it underneath here just so we can hide it. Let's install our power source. And we're going to install this with the fan facing down. Okay. Slide it in. Push the cables where you want them to go, the CPU. And lastly, our graphics card. That's going to come here. All we have left are Molex and SATA. One of these SATAs is going to plug in here. That's one. And remember, we had a SATA coming off the AIO. Plug this in. We'll now secure our power source. In order to tighten your power source, what you do is tighten in a cross pattern. That way it pulls it as close as it can. Get them all snug first, then tighten. And when you pull in a cross pattern, it will pull it as close as possible. We will tidy up all these cables. Let's plug in all our cables so we don't have to worry about them anymore. Eight pin power cable. Now we have all the cables where we want them. We can now tidy it all up. cables that you're not going to use, you can just tuck in. The panel at the front helps hide most of these cables, so that's really good. We'll just hide all that, like so. Our SATA cables, plug that in. That way it's all nice and tidy, or hidden. We'll plug it in first, then we can tidy it up. So what I'm doing here is keeping it as flat as possible because we don't want it to get in the way when we go to install our case. We can now take off all these extra cables. Alrighty, perfect. Now install our 
graphics card, Gigabyte WinForce GTX 970. I think this is still a great 4GB graphics card. It will still allow you to play a majority of games. Now, because it is a 4GB graphics card, some compromise is a given. Get it in this slot, push it down. Now for our GPU cable. We've got an 8 pin and a 6 pin. For the 8 pin here, our 6 pin. This is a cool little case because you can also vertical mount the graphics pack. With all that installed, we're going to give it a go now. I'm thinking two fans at the top and three fans at the front. We're going to keep this build very simple and use all black fans. As I wait for Battle.net to update, what I'm going to do is install some fans. Because I have a blue logo here, I'm going to use these fans. Usually I wouldn't go for Molex, but this PSU has Molex cables. Not only do these look okay, they're also blue which matches this symbol and they look pretty good and they were very affordable. Four dollars a pop, three at the front and two at the top. Not too bad at all, very simple fans, very quiet. If you're going for a budget build, Molex is always a little bit cheaper. Fan blows out this way, so we want to install this as an exhaust at the top. So we're going to install it this way and at the front here, we want it as an intake. We're going to install it this way. You want these rubber mounts, that's important. The PC is still running at the moment. Now, I don't recommend to do that unless you really know what you're doing. Just tuck these cables in so that they go towards the back of the case. Do that for all three. Once you've installed everything, it's hard to get to it so you don't have much room, so that's why I use these tools. This is a tiny little ratchet and I have a little screwdriver here. Think about installing the fans first that way it's out of the way look at the room we have now Three fans installed, now to do the top ones. Tuck them into the front here, pull them out. Like so. And now for the top fans. They're going to be exhaust, so we want them to pull hot air out and pull it out the top of the case. We shall cable through the top here, pull it on through. Space them out nice and evenly. Just plug them in like that, and this plugs in like this. Many people don't like using Rolexes because of how big and ugly it kind of looks. As long as you tidy it up well, you're not going to have a problem. Don't mind this SSD, it's just what I have the game installed on so we can test it. Cut off our extra. I want to just test it real quick and make sure that all the fans work. Perfect. So as you can see, the two fans light up and so do the front three. Graphics card goes back in, just like that. This one first, and then this one next. Eight pin, six pin. Perfect. Put our front cover back on. Up, simply clamp down. Front, I'm gonna leave the plastic on for now. Line this up here. Push it down, look at that. Now I'm not gonna put the back cover on yet because I still have to unplug this after we finish our testing. Anything else can go on for now. Here's our dust filter, HDMI for the display, power cable, and power button. After all that, this is basically what it looks like. Pulls open like so. This is our final product. So not too bad for 
budget fans. You have the mesh at the front that will help it pull in cool air. Not too bad at all really. It looks very clean, very nice. This is only a 4GB graphics card. In my experience, this graphics card still does very well. With the right hardware, it definitely still performs. Even in 2022. Once this finishes updating, we will get into it. Resurgence! Be advised, gas is closing in. Proceed to the safe zone. Survive the countdown to secure your redeployment. Owning points, start the countdown. Primary objective is to eliminate all enemies. Attack! Gas is closing in. Proceed to the safe zone. Cash drop is inbound. Intercept and seize the cargo. Enemy team is tracking your position. Use this time to train a bit. We'll be deploying soon.
Enemy soldier nearby. Playtime's over. Stand by for deployment to the war zone. Just have to adjust the trajectory. 